Welcome to our Java programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from one of our viewers about data manipulation in Java 8. They want to know how to collect and change the format of results from a list of custom objects. Our viewer has a data structure called MyPojo, which includes fields for time, name, and time taken, all represented as strings. They have a list of MyPojo objects and are using Java streams to group this data by name and time, calculating the average time taken. However, they need the output in a specific format for their front-end developer. The current output groups the data nicely, but the front-end developer wants to ensure that every name has an entry for each year, even if the average time taken is zero. Alternatively, they want a more structured JSON-like format. Our viewer is considering iterating over the result map to achieve this, but they're curious if there's a more efficient way. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To achieve the desired output format, we will first need to modify our existing result map. This will allow us to include entries for years that do not have any data. We can create a set of all unique years from our MyPojo objects. This will help us ensure that every name has an entry for each year, even if the average time taken is zero. Next, we will iterate through the unique years and names to build our final list. For each combination, we will check if an entry exists in the result map. If it does, we will use the average time taken. If not, we will set it to zero. Finally, we will convert our list into the desired JSON format. Each entry will contain the time, name, and average time taken. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Java 8, you can achieve a formatted result using collectors.collecting and then. This allows you to pad your results with additional data after collecting them. The example uses a custom class called MyPojo, which contains fields for time, name, and time taken. You can convert the time taken to a double for calculations. The input data consists of a list of MyPojo objects. The code groups these objects by name and time, calculating the average time taken. The final result is a map that shows the average time taken for each name and year, filling in missing years with a value of zero. Like and that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.